Alright guys, it's been a long ass time since I recorded my last tutorial about how to speed up your computer and since now I have Windows 7, that one was on Windows XP. I'm just gonna show you how to speed it, speed up Windows 7. This will also work for Windows 8 and probably newer versions of Windows that ever come out, so let's do this. So first what I want you to do is get CCleaner, crap cleaner, whatever. And then what you want to do is click on tools and then click uninstall. So now what we are doing is we are just gonna delete programs that we don't need. So they just don't take space on our computer and you know, slow it down maybe. So let's check out what programs we have. So I have a PDF creator for example. I'm just gonna select it, click uninstall button and then just follow all of these instructions basically that's it. And then click OK and that's it. So once you finish that, let's click on startup button right away. And then you want to click right here on this button enabled and click it again. And now you're going to see yes, 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 you know, these freaking words. This, this means that these programs with the yes on them are going to run at the startup. So every program that has yes in front of it. So we have Demon Tools Lite. I don't need that. Right click on it. Click disable. Sidebar, it's okay. Adobe something, uh, I don't need that. Click on it, click disable. PDF creator restart, disable that too, and that's it. Okay, next thing what we want to do is clean the registry, so let's do that. Registry, click on it, click scan for, make sure everything is selected, click scan for issues. Once this is done, click fix selected issues. Do you want to back changes to the registry? If this list that you get is really big, like really, really big, then you might want to back up the changes. But most of the time, just click no. And as you can see, I have 93 changes. That's not really big thing. So fix all selected issues. Issues fixed. Click close. And that's it. Now let's click on cleaner and uh, make sure everything is selected as I, so, uh, as I did right here. So pick everything right here as I did. Just make sure you don't pick saved passwords and network passwords. Click applications, pick everything as I did. That's basically it. Once you do that, click analyze. But basically, if you have more browsers, these are the options you want to select for each browser. So, these ones. And now it's gonna, once the analysis is complete, it's gonna tell you how many megabytes are going to be removed or maybe gigabytes. Click run cleaner and let it finish. Okay, so now what we did is we, we freed up some space, we made changes to our registry to make our computer faster, we sped up our, our boot up of the computer, and next thing we want to do is, you want to get this little program that's called Smart Defrag, and here's how it looks, it's from IOBit, I'm gonna leave all the links in the video description, so basically now you need to defragment your, your hard drives, so your computer runs much faster. What you have to do is basically just pick all of the hard drives you have, Click Analyze. So once this analyzing is done, you will see right here recommendation. It's gonna tell you do you need to defrag your hard drive or not. For me, it says no defrag, defrag needed. And for the local disk C, because I have two hard drives, it's gonna it tells me to defrag and fast optimize it. So you can click that, or you can just click on State, and uh, then basically just go to defrag and pick option that you want. You usually want to select defrag and fast optimize. Click it and it's gonna defrag your computer. Wait for it. It usually takes a lot of time. So once you finish defragmenting your computer, you might want to clean up your desktop so you work faster. What I like to do is, as you can see right now, I don't have that many icons because most of the programs I use often are on my taskbar at the bottom. Also, if you have lots of files on your desktop, you might want to right-click, create new folder, name it like desktop or all files and just drag all those files in that folder and have that folder on your desktop. So, you know, your, your desktop will be really clean and still you just double click open up the folder and access all your files really fast. Next thing you might want to do is clean your RAM. This is not thing you usually do, but you just might want to do that. So what you do is you run the program called RAM Rush. And this is basically how it looks like. It just runs in your taskbar right here and all you have to do is right click on it somewhere here and click start optimize. And now you're gonna free some RAM and yeah, that's not, not, not the typical thing you would do, but it might help. Okay, another thing is 
When you run a program, you sometimes leave it open that you don't even know about it. So what you want to do is move your cursor to the taskbar and you will have this little button, this arrow right here. It says show hidden icons. You want to click on it and right here you have all the icons and programs you are running. So for example, I have smart defrag. I opened it and I, I even though I closed it, it's still running. So what you want to do is right click on it and exit or maybe close it's gonna say something like that and close the program of course a lot of people are going to tell you this to make your computer run faster you need to have more ram on your computer so you might want to think about it to go and buy some ram so you can your computer can run really fast usually you need about two gigs of ram or four would be good and anything above that is gonna be awesome so yeah usually two gigabytes of ram are going to be enough next thing is your hard drives just make sure your local disk C hard drive, the one that has your operating system installed on it, just make sure it has at least 10 gigs of space. Okay, next thing is you might want to uninstall your antivirus. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't have antivirus installed. Why? Because I don't access websites that, that contain viruses. Like if you're downloading a lot, uh, like you, if you use torrents a lot and stuff, you might pick up some viruses, you know. But usually, if you are not downloading anything, if you just use common sense, if you are aware of what you're downloading, you don't really need antivirus to slow down your computer. But if you are really looking to get an antivirus, I definitely recommend a vast free antivirus and a Vera free antivirus. Why do I recommend these two? Because they are really light on your computer, so they will not slow down your computer that much and also i would like to recommend you this youtube channel malware doctor this guy just reviews all of these antiviruses as you can see bit defender mcafee kaspersky bit defend he really goes in depth and reviews all of these antiviruses so in case you want to see the review and see what you're going to get check out his videos i'm going to leave the link in the video description another thing i would like you to do is make sure your computer is clean i mean i don't mean the software part i mean the hardware part so your your desktop case or whatever you have so just open it up turn off your computer open up your case and just use a vacuum cleaner or something to clean your PC just make sure you clean all the dust inside and whatever you find inside just make sure you clean it also to make sure you pay attention to fans so to ventilators or whatever you want to call them so make sure you clean them really good because they help cool down your computer now what you want to do is make sure you clean your computer from viruses as I said you can get an antivirus like Avira or Avast but also you want to get these two programs number one is malware bytes anti malware so make sure you get this program and make sure you get spybot search and destroy this program is also really good then again you want to search on youtube how to use them it's it's really easy how to use them you don't really have to it's not you know rocket science so just run them make them scan your computer for viruses and clean all that shit okay Okay, another thing is you want to right click on your computer, click on properties, go to the advanced system settings, under performance click on settings and make sure you click adjust for best performance. Now if you want your computer to look like just normally without any advanced effects and stuff, just enable these boxes that I have enabled. And that's basically it. Okay, another thing is you want to right click on your computer, click on properties and then you want to click on device manager and over here you're gonna see all this list now usually you're gonna have other devices like this no drivers for them have been installed so sometimes these uh, these devices that are not installed can cause your computer to run slow so what you want to do is check the link in the video description you have two options slim drivers free and driver max you might want to get both of those programs and just run them make them scan your computer for drivers and then just use them to download drivers or you might just want to search on google how to update drivers and you just find any of these websites and they really gonna help you but usually you just want to use these two programs okay guys so that's it that pretty much sums it up hopefully i was able to help you speed up your computer and use it and everything's really fast now if you like this video make sure you rate it comment subscribe for more videos and that's pretty much it i'll catch you guys in next video priest out, priest out.